Anyone who has driven through flat, open areas in the middle of winter knows the dangers of drifting snow. Snow blowing over a roadway can reduce visibility to almost nothing, creating the perfect conditions for crashes and stranded motorists. It can also create blow ice, which occurs when the blowing snow melts and then refreezes on the pavement. You know, when we get the right conditions out there, we've had um, as many as 18 to 20, 22 cars in the ditch at one time just from the snow blowing across the highway with emergency personnel out there trying to help them with more cars going in the ditch. Public agencies end up having to spend extra time and money keeping these trouble spots clear, and the costs add up quickly. Fortunately, there's an alternative. A program at the Minnesota Department of Transportation uses living snow fences and other snow control tools to create natural and artificial windbreaks that trap the blowing snow before it reaches the roadways. By partnering with landowners to leave standing corn rows and create other simple but effective barriers by the roadside, MnDOT can reduce the cost of keeping our highways safe and clear in the winter. Now the amount of snow that will actually blow across the road can be a hundred times greater than the amount of snow that falls out of the sky. And so what our blowing snow control program is meant to do is try to capture that blowing snow before it reaches the highway. So by using a combination of standing corn rows, living snow fences, structural snow fencing, we can capture that, that snow and rob it from the wind and deposit it in an area that will be outside of the, the road surface. The difference that these tools make can be dramatic. Roadways with living snow fences have better driver visibility and road service conditions than those without, leading to lower road maintenance costs and fewer accidents. One study estimated that if MnDOT could successfully establish living snow fences at 40% of its problem sites, it could save $1.3 million per year on snow removal costs alone. A MnDOT research project created a snow control tool calculator that tells users which type of snow fence is most cost effective on a given stretch of highway. The calculator uses a number of criteria to weigh the benefits of various snow control tools against their respective costs. The tool has been online and publicly available since 2014 via the University of Minnesota's website. We've got about uh, 3,700 problem sites across the state and that's on our MnDOT maintained roads. And the benefit cost tool is a, a tool that when we look at opportunities to maybe partner with a farmer to leave standing corn rows, uh, we can see whether it's cost effective for us to buy that standing corn. The farm where I left the standing corn is right on a curve when you come up a hill. And from little on up, I've observed many people in the ditch in that area. And I believe what the people told me that it was going to help uh, be a positive thing. And so I just did it because it was the right thing to do. It's a good program and I think it's going to save, make it easier for the plow operators, make it easier on society if you have less wrecks. If it saves one life at some point in time, what you can't put a dollar value on that. So yes, it's a little inconvenience but it's the right thing to do and I would absolutely do it again. For more information on the Living Snow Fence program, visit mindot.gov slash livingsnowfence.